endocrinology is basically just the study of systems that deal with your growth and metabolism. So any these systems really are the ones that produce your hormones in your body. So there are different glands and organs from your brain, in your thyroid, to your adrenal glands, to even your bone metabolism. So all of these play together to form your endocrine system. The pediatric just means it involves children and adolescents. So the common ones are things like diabetes. So diabetes is where you have trouble with production of your insulin, which is produced by the pancreas. There's uh, thyroid disorders, both high levels of thyroid hormones, low levels of thyroid hormones. There's issues with your adrenal glands. There's um, issues of growth, issues of puberty, um, delayed or we call it precocious when it comes in too early. There's also issues of um, things like Turner syndrome where you may have issues with your sexual hormones production. So some may be too low or too high. Then we also have um, issues with your stature. So children who have any kind of issues with their growth, either they are too short or they are too tall or they are not gaining weight appropriately, those would be the children now who would have this kind of syndromes. So the symptoms are very varied and sometimes very vague. There's no one specific symptom that you can say this is just for endocrine disorders. But commonly you'd have issues of fatigue, um, delayed milestones in some children, um, issues with your growth and your stature. So you'd find during your growth monitoring either the child is too tall, is growing up above the curve, or stagnation in growth. Um, any physical changes that are pointing towards puberty, either they, are, they show up too early, like in a five-year-old having signs of puberty, or they come too late, and even just feeling tired, um, having palpitations, gaining weight inappropriately, losing weight inappropriately, some of the things that we look at. So first, in pediatrics, every pediatrician will tell you, you have to do your well baby um, clinic minutes for monitoring. So a lot of these things may be caught during your regular um, growth monitoring visits. So during your first year especially, we monitor your growth very closely. We check your baby's height, your baby's weight, and plot it on a graph. So this is one of the things that will help us catch any of these changes very early. And for kids who are probably older, it's, if they're not very sickly, even annual or biannual visits to your pediatrician will help just to assess any points of um, a lot of growth, so just before they hit puberty, it's good to have them checked. If they have any kind of life transition, it's good to also have them examined. And also if you're just worried about your child's weight or your child's height, or you feel like your child has sad features that you're concerned about, it's always good just to bring them to the pediatrician. At M. Pisha Hospital, we do have a dedicated children's hospital. We have also the pediatric hospital clinic, where you can find um, the consultant pediatricians running every day Monday to Saturday. We also have the general outpatient pediatric department now which runs every single day, Sunday to Sunday, 24 hours a day and you will find pediatricians on the ground to, to assess your child and to just figure out what's going on.